So I don't know that much about Peg. Is she the only suicide from the Hollywood sign? I don't know. We got a lot more to learn, I, I guess. There's a universal fascination with what makes Hollywood tick. In my 18 years of running Hollywood Land Antiques, I've pretty much seen it all. Join me, Jeffrey Von Meyer, as I explore Hollywood, looking for unique, historic, and rare items to sell in my shop. What's up? That picture in the window that I noticed the other day, is that Peg Entwistle? Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh. How do you know who Peg Entwistle is? I know everything about Hollywood. <laughs> I guess you do. <laughs> no, um, is it for sale? No, some of her family are still around and her youngest brother, Milton, they came in here and he was looking around the shop and he admired something that uh, I gave to him as a gift mm -hmm. uh -huh. and eventually he sent me that picture. When he did, I uh, promised him that as long as I had the shop here, I would keep her in a prominent place in the village. And so that's why she's there and that's why I can't sell her. While April went to see what else she could learn about Peg, I took a stroll down Beechwood Drive, past Peg's old house. People come to Hollywood with false expectation and dreams that never really are fulfilled. But unlike them, Peg Entwistle had a, a long history in New York on stage and traveling and touring on stage. And uh, the legend has it that uh, Betty Davis saw her in a play and was so inspired by her performance that she said she wanted to be just like Peg Entwistle. They later did become friends, and uh, I think Peg had a lot more experience and a lot more talent than most people that come here and fail. So I, I, I just think that uh, what happened to her happened too soon to really call her a failed actress. Well, Milton was here in the house the morning she jumped, and he, I think, just really sort of resents the myth of the situation, that it was all over her career. It sounds kind of shallow and uh, like there wasn't much depth to his sister. As usual, April had immersed herself in her research. She only did one film, 13 Women, and I got a copy of it and watched it, and it's great. It's, really? It's 30s, kind of campy, it's not that long, but it's really good, and I, I think we should screen it next in the parking lot, because the anniversary of when she jumped off the Hollywood sign is coming up, I think we should do a screening and honor her. Usually we try and raise money for a cause and we sell concessions and raffle tickets. And Su suicide prevention. I like that. Yeah. Donate the money in her name. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. I want to do that. All right, let's do it. It would make Milton happy. It, it would definitely make Milton happy. We planned the screening for September 16th, the anniversary of Peg's death. But rather than dwell on the tragedy, our little community came together to learn more about our former neighbor. Well, we definitely know what most people know, is, which is that she notoriously ended her life by jumping off the Hollywood H. She's the only person who's ever been documented to commit suicide off the Hollywood sign. She was an actress that came out from New York City in the 20s. I do know that she was from the north of England, and Entwistle is a very northern British name. So she was an, you know, an emigre here to make it in Hollywood, and she was staying with her uncle on Beechwood Drive. And unfortunately, I think in 1932, she leapt to her death off the second D in the Hollywoodland sign. She made the trek up to the H, very specifically the H, and did the 50-foot plunge to her demise. I heard it was a second D, but don't quote me. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for supporting it. We're going to show the cartoon and then right into 13 women. So enjoy the movie. Oh, We did? Yeah. That's awesome. It is. And we're donating to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention in Peg's name. So Peg lives on and she's still doing good things. She was good, I thought. Um, yeah. And the movie was better than I expected. And um, did you hear people clapping like yeah. when she had the yeah. nervous? Well, I think half the people didn't know which one, sh which actress she was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then some people got it. But I think by the time she had her big climax, scene um 
people knew who she was and they applauded. The myth of her has been part of my life for a very long time. And I walk up to the Hollywood sign so frequently and think of Peg. And I knew almost nothing about her until this event and now I know a lot more.